shining bright like a diamond. Great. Good morning, you guys. As y'all saw, I just went to 7-Eleven. I also got me a banana and a water. The banana selection was very... Let me show y'all my baby nails. Because y'all know I always have long nails. Look at my nails, y'all. Why oh, I look like that? It look funny. Anyway, look at my nails. Look at my nails. They're baby chick chicklets. They look like baby chicklets. But I had to start over because my nail tech had told me, um, she had already told me anyway that I needed to get a full, a new, a fresh set. So being that I had to get a fresh set, I had took off my acrylic and I did it at home because I didn't want to go to the nail salon and do it because they'd be charging like $15. No, I could do it at home because I have a drill. So I sat at home and did it. So that's why my nails are short because I don't like putting tips on my nails. They always break off and I just don't like, I'm too rough for that. Like y'all already, if you look at the um square, it's just kind of rounded y'all. Like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm sitting in front of the gym and this vlog is gonna all be all about me just trying to create, well, first of all, not trying, creator, creating, healthier habits before the new year starts i'm sitting in front of the gym and if i'm being honest you guys like i just feel like everything and i better not start crying because i feel it in the back of my eyeballs i feel like everything is trying to stop me from doing better in life i feel like every time that I have a plan to do X, Y, and Z. Something always comes to interfere with it. And you know how they say, you know, just maneuver around it. But sometimes it be things that can't really be maneuvered around. I got to turn this heat on. I hope it's not going to bother the audio. But I say that because like ever so since the last video that i had posted right that was thanksgiving weekend so like black friday weekend so the weekend after that the weekend after that khalil got a stomach virus and then literally right after he got sick kaylani got sick i am grateful that they weren't sick at the same time but they both got the stomach virus and then when she had the stomach virus she did have to get taken out of daycare because it was during the week so she didn't go to daycare last week except for Monday and Tuesday. But Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, she was out of daycare, and I was um, starting to feel sick with her. So the weekend come, everybody is feeling better, right? Sunday, which is, not today is Tuesday. So Sunday night, right? I'm getting everything together, cleaning up downstairs, preparing my life for the week. I cut my foot. And not like a little cut, like, ooh, like a cut cut like i had to apply pressure for a long amount of time in order for it to stop bleeding i didn't go to the to the um hospital because when i had cut my hand before and i went they did the same thing and then they just put some like medical glue but i ain't had time for all that y'all and then they were trying to charge a 400 dollars copay who who <laughs> i was drinking my coffee right earlier that day i was drinking coffee and i had a glass straw and I think my hand had hit the straw or something so it fell on the floor and broke so i thought i got all the pieces up i did not so later on that day i was walking and i felt something on the bottom of my left foot but instead of me looking down to see what it was i thought it was just like something that the twins had on the ground or something and you know how you use your other foot to like swipe it off that's what i did so i used my right foot to swipe whatever was on the bottom of my left foot and I swiped it like really hard and it was a piece of glass and it cut my foot like deep it cut it, it hurts y'all it hurts like I'm limping when I walk and I, I'm telling y'all that because it's just frustrating that every time I turn around it's something that is preventing me from going to the gym preventing me from having like a schedule in life you know so that's why I'm sitting in front of the gym now and I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to do this because my foot hurts. And on top of that, 
so you know I've been telling y'all about my toenail, right? I've been telling y'all about my toenail and I've been telling y'all about my back, right? Oh my goodness, if you're new here, I am so sorry to be coming on the screen just feeling like I'm complaining, but I'm really not. Like, if you... <laughs> y'all, like, if you're frustrated with the things that's going on in my life, imagine how I feel because I feel like it's always something. But if you watch my vlogs and you know that I've been telling y'all about my back and I've been telling y'all about my toenail for a while. So let me give y'all the update on that. So first, is let's start with my toenail. So I went to the podiatrist, right? So the podiatrist told me that the toenail that I keep telling y'all that is bothering me is actually infected. It is a fungal infection. That sounds so nasty. And she gave me a couple of she gave me a couple options to fix it the first option she gave me was to put a topical medication on my foot it has to be on my toenail um and i every day for a year yes you heard me correctly a year 365 days and i have to keep my toenail cut all the way down to the cuticle i cannot let it grow out because if i let my toenail grow out then the topical ointment won't be able to get onto the actual skin that's infected underneath so i have to keep my toenail cut down for a year y'all when she told me that i was looking at her like ma'am a year that's gonna be through the summer that's gonna be all the way till next winter you think i'm gonna walk around with my toenail cut down to my cuticle until next 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 winter no so when she told me that i said do we have any other options <laughs> So the other option she gave me was to take a antifungal medication. So with taking that medication though, it can have an effect on your liver. So she gave me a couple of options with that. The, the first option with the antifungal medication, I have to take it for six months, every day for six months, but I could absolutely not drink any alcohol at all because being that it has an, it can have an effect on my liver if I'm if I'm drinking and you know you drinking alcohol and messes with your liver, you know it can it's not a good thing. So that was the first option. So that was like a low dosage antifungal medication. The other option was to get an antifungal medication that was a little bit of a higher dosage, and I would take it for I would take it for one week and then three weeks off for three months. So pretty much once a, once a week for three three months. Um, because since it's a higher dosage antifungal medication, you can't like take it continuously. So she was saying that if I do that one, I just can't drink during that week. And then with the other weeks that I'm not taking it, just try to drink minimally, like not a lot. So I chose that option. It might take a while for me to actually see like some progression in my toenail. Like my toenail will grow out, but she was saying to just let it grow out, but let it she was saying cut it down however much it allows and that's how she knew that i had an antifungal um i mean that i had a fungal infection because on that side of my toe this sound i'm sorry if i'm disgusting y'all but on that side of that toenail it allowed her to cut it all the way down because my nail was not connected to the um my nail bed so she was just saying like to continue cutting my toenail down until i can't cut it anymore because that means that if 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 it's connecting back then the you know it's healing so that's that with my toenail then i went to the doctor for my back and pretty much he didn't do any more x-rays or anything like that because he was just saying that it's not that my scoliosis is getting worse it's just that i wasn't getting it treated so you know it wasn't like it was bothering me and he was also saying that being that i was at the gym walking on the treadmill which that's when i noticed that my back really started he was saying that that puts a lot of pressure on your back and if you already deal with back pain then it's just gonna get worse now i was saying like so what can i you know do i have to avoid things in my life in order for my back to not feel this way and he was saying you know he gave me some really good advice he was just telling me that you know a lot of the times when people have a health issue they want to be like, okay, I can't do this, 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 this. You know, they try to point out things in their 
external environment that they can't do so he was telling me instead of you saying oh i can't get on the treadmill and walk an incline oh i need a better pillow oh i need a better mattress he was saying that i need a point internally and fix what's inside and you know i thought that was just such good advice because he was saying for one eating right and eating right and working out which will get that weight up off me. Because I asked him, I said, is there any chances that my spine will curve more? Like, would it get worse? And he was like, no. He said, usually with scoliosis, it doesn't get worse or better. He was like, usually the only time that it gets worse is if you start, if you gain like a ton of weight and it's just weakening your body. So, you know, that will weaken your spine and your spine might start curving more. And he was like, but unfortunately, there's no chances of it getting better. He was like, but with you going to the chiropractor and like getting treatments and stuff like that, it will alleviate the pain. And he was also saying with back pain, don't try to go get massages and heat and pads and things like that. He was like, if you're having back pain, that means that your back is inflamed and you need to put ice on it. So far, I have went to the chiropractor twice. I went once last week and once this week. He wanted me to come back again the end of this week, but I told him, baby, listen, I can't be coming on twice a week. I got a copay that I got to pay, and my copay is $55. I told him that I'll come back next week, but the first day that I went, y'all, I had to take Kaylani with me because, as y'all know, she was sick, and that was a day where I didn't even know that she, um, I didn't know it was a stomach virus at that point. I just knew something was wrong, but, um, y'all, it, it was so difficult, but he had me do a series of tests and stuff like that. You know, bending back, bending to the side, touching my toes. Um, then he, like, just applied pressure to my back. And he could tell that it was really tender because when he would touch certain points in my back, I would kind of, like, jump. So he pretty much, he cracked my back in two ways. He'll have me, like, lay on whatever side is tender. He'll have me lay on that side. And then he'll have me, like, hold my arms like this. And he'll pretty much, like, just press his body on top of me to crack my back y'all i be scared because it's like oh you about to kill me but it really don't hurt you hear the crack and everything but it don't hurt and then he had me do one where i was like um like this sitting up and then he just like gently laid me back and then he pressed down on my back in the middle and when i tell y'all after that one visit with him my back was not hurting anymore I have not had any back pain since I went to him. And then after he cracks my back, he has me lay down on the table and they apply, um, it looked like some of those things, you know how like if you go get like a heart, a stress test or something that, and they might like have these sticky things that they put on you, they put that on the back and it's like actually, I don't even know what it is. They say ice in your back, but you feel actual like, I don't even know what it is. I can't explain it. It's kind of like... I can just feel it like moving my muscles in my back and it's cold so i guess it, i don't know what it is i'm gonna ask him next time but it just i've just been feeling better so yeah going to those doctors a chiropractor and then going to a podiatrist and then it's just it makes me feel like wow i'm so young and I'm in here with all of these elderly people and not to say anything about them because you know what I'm saying they do what they got to do but it is very eye opening because it just makes you makes you realize that if you do not take care of your health eventually you're going to have to get it treated so I say all that to say I'm really trying to focus on my health and just doing right overall along with other things I do want to sit down and talk with y'all about my goals for next year I do want to make a vision board um yeah I want to do different things but I wanted to give y'all the update on that though but, but they have the body balance class today Tuesday and it's the Pilates and stuff like that. I bought some socks because I can't wear my foot out, y'all. Because when I went to the podiatrist, she cut my toenail down. Some, like, Pilates socks or yoga socks or whatever it's called. They have, the like, the rubber thing at the bottom so you won't slide. But I don't know how I'm going to be able to do because my foot is hurting. Like, it hurts even with having these shoes on. So I'm just going to try to go in there and do my best. I'm going to sit in the back and we're just going to see how it goes. Okay? Yeah. <laughs>
that knee sit my stupid ass down. Bro, what am I doing? Hey y'all. So it's later now, as you can see. Sorry for the light being how it is. I'm in the office room and it's like the sun is on the window and I don't have the lights on because that's just the vibe I'm in right now. But as long as y'all can hear what I'm saying, that's all that matter. I got some coffee. I have to go get the kids and literally like, oh, I really should have my phone by me. Let me turn. I need to look at the clock. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to sit down and talk to y'all and just kind of have like a vulnerable moment. I feel like I kind of been avoiding it for a while now. This video was supposed to go up like two weeks ago, but I just been trying to figure out like, what do I want to say? And it's not even really like anything that is like major to y'all, but it's just sitting down and like talking about my feelings and stuff like that. I feel like actually, like even though it's things that I've been saying in my mind, saying it out loud puts things into a different perspective. I'll say that. Um, honestly y'all since hitting 30 I feel like it started when I turned the age of 29 I feel like I'm just going through such a major transition and I feel like it's definitely hitting me now since I'm 30 and it's not that I feel old but I feel like a part of me feels like time is running out when really that's like not realistic because you know who what is time you know no one knows how long they're going to be on this earth and i could be gone tomorrow or gone a hundred well not a hundred years from now but i could live to be a hundred and something you know we don't know but i feel like because of how my life played out i feel like everything is just backwards you know i feel like a lot of people in their 20s have spent time trying to figure out who they were what they wanted to be everything like that and it's like oh, i'm crying already y'all <laughs> lord it's gonna be a lot of i feel like because that's just it makes me feel better when i'm talking i don't know why but when i was younger you know, I, I feel like things happen backwards because I was a mom at such a young age. And it's like now that I have my children now, I'm not having any more. It's like I'm at the point now of what do I really want to do in life? And I know what I want to do. I know what I like to do. But it's a part of me that makes me feel like, is it possible for me? Um so if you're new here if this is your first video um because i have mentioned this before but when i was younger i always wanted to be an OGYN. and as i got older and then i got pregnant and then i still was trying to go to school to be an OBGYN with one child and i realized how hard that was like i was going to a community college and i was doing majority of my classes online and I was still working because I had to still support my child. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, and I'm not saying it's not possible, but just for me in my situation, I feel like the cards were not being set up right for, for that route. I feel like to be an OBGYN, it's a lot of clinicals and all this other stuff that you have to do. And you can't just be taking all of your classes online. Like you have to go and off. You know what I'm saying? So that dream came and left, honey. So then when I got my job, I was so happy because I thought I was doing the damn thing, y'all. Like, when I first got my job, they told me I was going to make $13 an hour. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. And that was when I was 18. So here I am, 30, still working for the same company, of course, in a different position. But just in a place of where I know this is not where I want to be for the rest of my life. I feel like I'm too creative for it. Um, I, but yesterday, matter of fact, 
I literally was sitting down on the couch and I was like, man, like I'm really sitting in an, in an answer prayer. And I know people say it on social media, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's really true. Like sometimes you pray, pray, pray for things. And then you don't even realize that you're, you got exactly what you pray for. And this job, I pray for this. I remember when I applied for it. I mean, I prayed so hard for this position. And let me tell you, I love my position, but I feel like I love it so much, not because of what I'm doing, but because of the flexibility I have to do what I really want to do outside of my job, right? But on the flip side of that, I, I, I think that there's such an internal battle within myself because I know that I'm not putting my all into what I really want to do. And I had to really sit down and ask myself, like, why aren't you, Yvette? And I think it's just, I'm, I'm fearful, y'all. Like, that's the only thing that I could tell you is that I'm fearful. Like, I'm such a control freak. When you, and when you are a type of person that wants to be in control of everything in your life, to like, on one hand, it can help you because it's like, you know what you're going to get the desired outcome. Like, say, for instance, okay, I'm not going to go ask you to go to the grocery store for me because I know if I go, I'm going to get exactly what I want. But on the flip side of that, when you are a control freak and you don't like you cannot control the outcome that causes so much anxiety. And that's where I feel like I'm at right now. I, I'm just having like an overload of emotions. And the only way that I can explain how I feel is that I know I don't want to be at my job for the rest of my life because I feel like I'm too creative for it. If anybody had to ask me, what do I want to do in life? I would tell anybody I want to be able to have this platform where not because I want to be able to get X, Y, and Z, you know, that I feel like that's just the perks of it. But because I want to have a platform where I could show other young moms that you can become something. And because that is something that I want to show other people, me struggling to do that is the internal battle that I'm having. And it's not because I don't feel like that it's possible. I do feel like it's possible, but I'm not putting myself into position to get there because I'm scared. You know, and it's like, it sounds so weird because it's like, if you know you want something, why not just go for it? But when you are so used to being in control of everything in your life, sometimes that stops you from going after what you really want because you can't control the outcome. I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I'm, it's getting dark, y'all, because the sun, but y'all can... So I really been sitting down with myself trying to figure out, like, what is it that you really want, Yvette? Like, what is it that you want with your content? What do you want your content to show? What do you want to show other people? Like, what do you want? What do you... I had, like, y'all, I really had to ask myself, what do I want? Because it's like, you're saying that you want one thing and you're not doing it. And not only just with my content, even when it come down to losing weight, how I want my house to be, you know, just different goals that I have that I have the ability to put myself out there and achieve it, but I'm not doing it. And I feel like when you have something placed on your heart of what you really, 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 truly want to do and you're not doing it, I feel like God is never going to get put you in the position to where you're able to just settle in and be comfortable. And that's how I feel right now. I'm in a season of being uncomfortable. And because I do not like to be uncomfortable, I have to move. And, and, and moving consists of me actually doing something. And doing something consists of me not being able to control the outcome of what I'm doing. Which in turn does what? Make me not do it. Which in turn does what? Makes me into a season of just being emotional, depressed, unhappy. So it's just like, then it goes back to you got to do it. And that's just where I'm at right now, y'all. Like, I'm just, I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> and with this upcoming year, I feel like it's going to be so different for me. And I know everybody say that new year, new me, yada, yada, yada. I truly feel like it's going to be different for me. And I don't know what that different is. I don't know what it's going to consist of, which gives me so much anxiety. 
I have really been probably for the last month in a season of being really silent, not talking to too many people, not having conversations like I've really been having, like not reaching out to my friends, not having conversations on the phone, not going anywhere. And that's just because I'm just being so emotional because I know that the new year is coming around the corner and not saying you have to wait for the new year because of course I'm tr I'm, I'm showing y'all that I'm trying to start before but I just feel like right now I'm in a season of transition which is scaring the shit out of me it's scaring me and I just been trying to figure out what I really want to do so there's a lot of goals that I have for 2024 that I want to reach in 2024 I'm gonna share some of them with you all of course I can't share all of them because some of them are personal but I'm gonna share it with you guys I actually bought um this earlier I went to Target after I went to the gym well I came home took a shower then I went to Target because I was stinking honey let me tell y'all also that class whooped my ass okay I was in there struggling I was like this is this is why you need to come here every Tuesday because girl anyway I bought this from Target and this is actually like um as you can see it's glass but I'm gonna put different pictures in here and then of course like it's so you see how this is like floating i'm just gonna have everything just around and in the middle probably put 2024 i just gotta print this stuff out and i'm gonna add that to my canvas wall so i can look at it and probably every year that i'm in here like in this home i'm going to uh change it out and stuff like that when I sat down and thought about what I want for my content, it's a lot of things that I do want and it's some things that I want to change. I feel like looking at a lot of the girls on YouTube that I love, like Aaliyah's face, um, Naturally Sunny, Face Over Matter. Like those are the girls that I watch. Um, Diara, like, but none of those girls have kids none of them and I feel like the only person that has a child that I like I don't really watch her content for more so entertainment not saying she's boring she's not boring but it's more so of like wow I aspire to be like her is Raven Elise and I like her channel because she's a mom and she's very creative and she just has this brand about her that's just like clean like she's very family friendly have the type of brand deals like Tylenol Target Walmart Ninja like Nutri Ninja you know all of those brand deals because she has a very clean brand and you know I feel like when it comes down to my content I love doing vlogs but the people that I watch I feel like sometimes when you're watching other people that's doing what you're doing you can't help but be influenced in some type of way and I feel like when it comes down to vlogs I've been doing a lot of vlogs because one I like doing vlogs two I feel like I could be more of myself when I'm doing vlogs talk to y'all more show y'all a side of me that you might not see if I was just doing like a formal type video but at the end of the day nobody knows Yvette you don't know me okay if you do know me it might be because you know what I'm saying like you don't, like not a lot of people know me you know what I'm saying I'm not walking down the street and people like oh that's Yvette like that ain't none of that happening but it's like I'm uploading vlogs and it's like nobody is searching for me because who's typing in Yvette's vlog you know what I'm saying so up for this upcoming year and my upcoming content I definitely have to post more searchable content and I do want to start doing that and showing my more of my creative side and stepping out of my comfort zone I've been telling y'all for the longest that I want to start the twins on their own channel I wrote a long list of video ideas so right now I'm just trying to get that situated because their channel is gonna and that's another thing it's like I've noticed that when I notice that something is working for me I feel like subconsciously I'm always stopping myself because I'm fear I'm it's this fear that I have of the unexpected because I know the twins content is what works for me that's what people want to see and I feel like a part of me don't want to keep putting out the twins content because I don't want my content to just be about the twins because they're going to get older they're not going to want to be on tv things are going to change I mean not tv but video things are going to change you know what I'm saying but I know that's what people like 
So I need to have their own channel where I can do their own content and then I have my own channel where I can do my own content and just separate the two because some people might just want to only see twins content and some people might only want to see event content and some people might want to see both, you know, so mixing and mingling the two together is just too much and I just really want to have a clean brand and that goes for when it comes down to my language that I'm using and, and not in any way being fake because I don't want to get to a point of where I'm getting known in public and then people feel like that I'm unapproachable or that I'm a certain type of way or they can't do certain things around me like girl what like no I want people to feel like that I'm your virtual friend like I'm really your virtual homegirl that's the vibes that I want to give but on the flip side of that when it comes down to the twin stuff you know, I got to do things more in a family friendly way and not saying that I'll be over here wilding, but still it's just a different, it, it got to be a different vibe. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So it's just a lot of things that I've been trying to figure out what I want to do, what's stopping me, what am I fearful of? I feel like I've been trying to work through a lot of that internally because I feel like when I start seeing things are working for me, for some reason, I cannot keep going with it, which is a problem. And that goes down to eating right, losing weight. You know what I'm saying? Like what content to post? Like, it's just like when I start seeing things working for me, I'd be like, "Ooh, let me step back. And I have to stop doing that, y'all, because there's so many goals that I want to reach and I'm not going to reach them if I keep stopping it's just not going to happen. And I really wanted to document this because I want to be able to come back to this and view it when it comes down to 2025 goals and things like that. Because it's just like this year has to be a change for me. I can't keep going into every year setting the same goals and not achieving them because I'm fearful. You know, it's different things that I have to do in my life. And I can't time is it's not running out, but it is running out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to look back years from now and be like, dang, I wish I would have did X, Y, and Z. Because right now, it's things that I wish I would have did then that I'm right now saying like, dang, I wish I would have did that. You know, even when it comes down to the twins content, I'd be like, dang, I wish I would have recorded X, Y, and Z. And I didn't do that. And, you know, the time is gone because they're the age they are now. But it's not like they're too old to where people can't still enjoy their content. I can still do toddler content with twins. But you know, y'all get what I'm saying. I hope you do anyway. I know I cry, y'all. But I've just been feeling so emotional about it. Because I'm just like, I've been asking myself, what do I want to do? And I was telling my mom, I was like, mom, like, I love my job. Like, but like I said, I love the flexibility of it, not more so of what I'm doing. And I feel like that God answered this prayer of putting me into this position so that I am able to do what I really want to do. And that doesn't say that, that doesn't mean I'm going to quit my job. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love the uh, stability of it. But in order for me to feel like I'm having a release in doing what I want to do and what I truly, truly am in love with doing, I have to do that also. I have to give my 100% to that because if not, I'm always going to feel this tug like of where I'm just feeling incomplete. And that's where I'm feeling right now. Like I'm feeling incomplete for a while now. I've been feeling like I'm living a life that I'm not supposed to be living. And I know that sounds so weird. Like it's just like, I feel like, mentally and internally I'm so far gone of where I'm at right now so that's it you know that's my battery going dead y'all so I gotta wrap this up but I just wanted to come up here and be vulnerable with y'all but tomorrow we're gonna have some things that we have to do I'm gonna print off my pictures for my um, vision board and we're gonna do that together and yeah hey, good morning y'all <clears throat> I'm on my way to work putting some oil oil <laughs> I don't know why I've been obsessed with saying oil like that like oil how, you, how they say oil I don't know but I've been watching black cake and like a lot of the people up there is from the Caribbean so they be saying oil I don't know how to say it anyway that's neither here nor there <laughs> I'm on my way to work I'm thinking about stopping and getting me something to eat though 
from Tropical Smoothie because usually I go to like um, either Wendy's or um, Chick-fil-A to get some breakfast but I'm trying to you know create better habits so I want to go somewhere that's a little bit healthier if I was like on a strict strict diet I wouldn't even go to Tropical Smoothie but I'm not on a strict strict diet today but I do just want to eat healthier you know what I'm saying so I think I'm about to go to I am gonna go to Tropical Smoothie and I have my Christmas sweater on today you guys I got this Christmas sweater from Forever 21 last year and I never wore it oh you guys I don't know if you remember last year when I bought this Grinch necklace sorry my, my camera is shaking my phone is shaking because I'm driving but I don't know if y'all remember when I bought this Grinch necklace last year from American Eagle, surprisingly. And I'm wearing it this year. Yeah. But I'm gonna go get a tropical smoothie, then we're gonna go in office today. Of course, I have to work. But like, on my free time, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the images for me to put on my vision board frame. Y'all yesterday when i picked up the kids right i told y'all i had to go get the kids so yesterday the kids i was in the office room where i had the picture frame because i showed y'all khalil got mad because i told him that he couldn't have some chips so he fell out his head hit this stand that i have in the office room the stand fell and fell right on the picture frame and the picture frame broke so what I did was, I wasn't about to go get another one because I wanted to do it today. So what I'm gonna do is, um, took the, the picture frame that I had in the bathroom, um, cause it was the same picture frame, just a little bit bigger. So I just took that picture frame and then I'm gonna use that instead. And then I'll just get another picture frame whenever for that picture, but yeah. Cause we gotta write these goals down. We, I mean, we gotta make this vision board so we can just see what we want for 2024. Because for one, this just double chin gotta go baby. The double chin been double chin it. It's been, it's been chin it, chin it. Doubly. Uh-uh. <laughs> churches yesterday y'all let me tell y'all i went in bathroom people are losing their marbles this season let me turn light on hold on because i say that because yesterday i was in bath and body works right and so they so for the past two days they had their one dollar two dollar and three dollar sale so for one dollar they had the hand pocket sanitizers I want to say that was the only thing they had for one dollar maybe something else for two dollars they had the car fragrance refills and hand creams and for three dollars they had their um like lip glosses and stuff so i wanted to go get some stuff because um the other day i had went into bath and body works and i really wanted their car fragrance refills because i'm really trying to work on keeping my car though so anyway i went there and got that i already you i already put two of them in the car so bright i brought uh, i brought two of the bright christmas morning i had smelled that when i went to my friend house 
in um, Atlanta. And she had the candle and it smelled so good. So I, I used two of those already in my car. And then I got Cactus Blossom, which is my all time favorite scent for Bath and Body Works. I got Spice Apple Toddy. I don't even know how this smell y'all. And I was kind of like, dang. Oh wait, I was supposed to be telling y'all something else about what happened Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna tell y'all that after I show y'all what I got. But usually Bath and Body Works have like a miniature candle that you can smell so you can know what the scent smell like. But they didn't have it in this one. So I just had to blindly buy golden berry mistletoe. I don't know what that smell like y'all. And then another cactus blossom. And then I told y'all I got two of the bright Christmas morning. And then, oh wait, I still, see, cause I told her I didn't want that one. Yep, she still rung it up. It's all right. But I told her I, I wanted to put this one back because I just, I didn't want to get three of them, but it was only $2, so. <clears throat> So I got one of the eucalyptus, eucalyptus and spearmint. And then I got dry hand relief. And then I got hand, nail, and cuticle. So, so right now I'm going to use, no, I need to use the, uh, I'm dropping it. I'm so clumsy. I'm going to use the dry hand relief. And my goal is to keep one of these in the car, one of these, it smell like Vicks. It smell like Vicks. And I got three of the Bath and Body Work lip glosses. And my favorite one is the green one, but they didn't have any, so I just got um the vanilla mint 2x one i got two of those and then i got this one the pink mint because i did have a pink one before but it was one that had glitter in it and that ain't my vibe so i'm gonna see how this one look i don't know sometimes stuff don't be looking right on my skin complexion when it's like colored like that unless i use like a lip liner and you know who's trying to use lip liner with lip gloss like that you know you just put it on the floor but anywho, we was in Bath and Body Works and they had the one, two, and three dollar sale. So you didn't need a coupon for it. Everything was just already ringing up as that. So when we got into the line, the lady that was in front of me, she was trying to, the lady was telling her, like the cashier was telling her that you don't need a coupon for it. It's already ringing up as that. But she was still searching for the coupon because I guess she thought that the lady wasn't accurate. I don't know. I don't know y'all, but um, so the cashier was just waiting, you know what I'm saying? Like she didn't say anything. You could tell that like, you, I mean, I wouldn't even say you could tell. She just was, you know, just standing there waiting for the lady cause the lady was on her phone, just scrolling, trying to find a coupon, like taking all day, holding up the line. Like it was a line of people. And um, the lady just literally stormed off. She stormed off and said, yeah, because you got an attitude. And da, 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 da. so the cashier said something back. And then the lady was like, bitch, i fuck you. Like, they was top like, oh my goodness. It's just car fragrances, okay? We, let's calm down. <laughs> but anywho, y'all, I am about to, first and foremost, usually I, well, I can't even say usually. The days that I don't go to the gym in the morning, I don't drink coffee, something stinks. I need to clean this kitchen. Okay, it's dishes in the sink, so we are gonna do that today. The twins have a performance at 3.30 today, but I'm not gonna record that. Yeah, I'm not gonna record that. Um, and they told me yesterday that Khalil wasn't gonna be able to perform because he just will not do right, y'all. Every time in rehearsal, he keep running off, won't stand up. It was like Kaylani is doing it, but Khalil gonna have to be held. And she came to me yesterday. She was like, I hope you're not mad. I'm like, girl, I understand, baby. Because listen, anytime I take Khalil out somewhere, like the other day when I told y'all Noel had a performance, I put his tail in the in the stroller and strapped him in. He stayed strapped in the entire time. Kaylani would have been strapped in too, but I didn't have the attachment for the other um 
like being that I have a twin stroller in order to put two of the things up there at once you have to have an attachment and the attachment was in their dad car so I said I'm gonna let Kehlani walk Khalil you gotta be strapped in honey he don't know how to act he just runs off like it's like his thing he just run off that's why when, once we went to this new daycare I was kind of happy that they have uh like outside fenced in area so that he could just run go live your best life baby um but what I was saying, I'm all over the place, y'all. What I was saying was that usually the days that I go to the gym, I drink a Celsius, so I don't drink coffee. But if I'm not going to the gym, then I drink coffee. But I'm trying to do better with, firstly, taking my, um, this stuff off the floor that I'm kicking, honey. All in one master tonic. I bought another bottle, you guys. This is my second bottle. I finished the first one, and honestly, I can't even give like a legit um, review on it as far as like if I see it's been working because I haven't been taking it consistently like every day, and I haven't been eating right with it. So yeah, but what I'm trying to work on is when it comes down to my vitamins taking this and taking my chlorophyll i want to do it every day even if i'm i know i'm gonna be eating bad that day because see that's the thing like i was reading this book called atomic habits and they were saying that sometimes when it comes down to trying to create a habit you have to like group them together so for example with me if i don't go to the gym i be feeling like i don't i'm not gonna eat right if i'm not eating right i'm not going to the gym if I'm gonna be going to the gym, I got to eat right. Because it's just like, I grouped them together. So, I also grouped together as far as like taking my vitamins and my chlorophyll and taking my apple cider vinegar. Um, what is this? This is, it does have apple cider vinegar, but it has a lot of stuff in it. But taking my, you know, master tonic shots. I feel like if I'm not eating right and if I'm not doing right that day, then I shouldn't do it, which is stupid because it's like, if you know you're going to be eating bad, why go all, all the way out? Like, you know what I'm saying? At least try to have some type of balance. So that's what I'm trying to work on. So even though today I feel like that I'm not going to necessarily be eating my best because it's Friday, not because it's Friday, but because I just don't, yeah, you know, I just don't feel like that I'm going to today. Like, I'm just being honest. What in the world? Why is it stuck like this? Probably because I put that hand cream on. See, that's why I like to have my hands ashy. <laughs> and because, y'all, I still have this whole thing of my vitamins. I still have all of these. And I have a whole other box that I have not even opened. I can't take that right now, though, because I'm not about to eat. So I'm gonna take these once I'm about to eat. But right now I am gonna take my master tonic and I'm going to take me some chlorophyll and I'm gonna fill it up with, I'm gonna put some water, drink some water. You know, I wanna be able to, I wanna start drinking water first also, along with my um, vitamin D daily. These are vitamin D capsules. I got it from my mom <laughs> because I didn't, I ran out and I was just at her house. So I was just like, mom, give me some. So I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine days worth before I gotta buy some, but I can't, I gotta wait to take these when I eat. So I'm gonna take this with my vitamins. And um, I need to start really, cause y'all, especially if you're a black person, oh, I can get it off now. Because it's so important to take your vitamin D because it's like we are really prone to be vitamin D deficient. And I didn't know that vitamin D has such an effect on one, your mood, Things that's going on with your body, like your hormone levels can be out of whack if your vitamin D is low. It can also, like at one point, I was starting to get like black spots on my lips and I was wondering where they came from. It's That has a, something to do with your vitamin D. Like it just really has an effect on you in all areas. So I'm just trying to really work on taking these things daily so it can become a habit of me doing it daily so I can feel my best and everything can move and groove how it's supposed to. So, we're going to go ahead and take this shot of Master Tonic. I like my camera. This downstairs should going to be clean because I'm just, y'all, I can't even function. I can't even function with, it's just, anyway, cheers. Doop. I 
drink it hot at all. But I still can't um, hold it in my mouth for, um, I don't have to call my sister back. I can't hold it in my mouth for 30 seconds. I think that's most definitely more than. So I got these. This is just liquid chlorophyll 360 nutrition supplement drops. So I think I told y'all before, but liquid the, the chlorophyll, it um it's like an internal deodorizer. So it helps with different things, honestly. You know, like chlorophyll come from plants and stuff. But one of the things that really made me want to get it because my sister told me about it was that when you start taking these you know you just don't smell which don't act like y'all just don't be walking around smelling so everybody had like you smell like certain things you're going to smell like especially if things are not balanced inside you know what i'm saying so when you go to the gym and you're sweating and you know if you just yeah you know what i'm saying use the bathroom you know what i'm saying you're doing number two poop poop you know what i'm saying this just help you don't have a smell so and it literally doesn't taste like anything so if you start taking this don't be scared by the color of it it literally does not taste like anything it tastes just like water or whatever drink you put it in it might got like a little smidge of mint because it is like minty but it ain't nothing crazy <sighs> done okay you guys so it is time to make the vision board here are all of my pictures that i cut out First things first, I need to clean off this mirror because it's giving splattered toothpaste since it was in my bathroom. You feel me? I got my hot glue gun here. Why is it not focusing? I have my hot glue gun here. Got the sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. All right, you guys, so let's just go ahead and go over my goals. I'm gonna try not to make this too long because it's a lot of them. So yeah, so first things first, in the middle of the board, I, of course, 2024. 2024 will be my best year yet. So that's gonna go in the middle. I kind of cut it raggedy, but yeah. And then before everything else, I printed this out that says God first because I really want to focus on making God the center of my life with everything because I feel like the closer I get to him it kind of scares me because seeing things and start hearing things from him and things that scare me so I kind of feel like that I'll be going hard with doing my devotion and everything like that and then and it's never anything bad, but that's my whole point in saying that I need to get out of this fearful zone because it's like, because of the things that he shows me, it kind of scares me. And then things be happening that I'll think and then it come into fruition and physical. And it's like, so that's why I'm just trying to work on getting out of this fearful space so that I could just go after everything I want. I know it sounds weird, but I know it's somebody out there that feel what I'm saying, okay? So, guys, first. And then I'm gonna just pick up from here. The future is yours to create. Some of them are just like sayings, but you know, of course they have a meaning behind it. I feel like this is self-explanatory. Peace, because y'all, I feel like this whole year, I just did not have any peace. I feel like my emotions were up and down with whatever was going on, you know, physically um in my environment or whatever and i just want to have internal peace so that no matter what's going on it could be a tornado outside it could be whatever and of course i know as humans of you know our emotions can be up and down but i don't want it to be where something can happen and affect my emotions so much to the point where it throws my day off and 
you know, or, you know, I just, I just want internal peace to the point where nothing that anybody else can say or do or nothing that can happen. Like I could be driving down the road and I get a flat tire and instead of me worrying about it, I just like, okay, you know, how are we going to fix this? That's how I want it to be. Um, balance is not something you find, it's something you create because I definitely feel like that I had a lack of balance this year. So going into the next year, I just need balance with everything. That's from being a mother to maintaining my household, to working my day job, to creating content, to having, you know, a balance with my friends, just a balance with everything. And I know sometimes, you know, some things are going to get more than others, depending on what's going on. But overall, I want my life to be balanced. This picture represents like a organized cabinets because I feel like the when you walk into the house some you know not all the time because like right now stuff all on the counter but like you'll walk in the house and it look clear but then under the cabinets and stuff like that it just is is just messy so one of the goals for my home is just to have everything organized everything has a place a system organization that works for me because honestly i'm the one that cares about stuff like this you know what i'm saying i'm the one that's mainly using it so i just need a system in place in the house so that things will not keep getting out of order and just all over the place this is my goal for my master bedroom i want a canopy bed i actually saw somebody um on instagram make it so i am recruiting my dad to help me because my dad has a best friend that actually used to build houses so he's good at building stuff like this so i'm like if you could just help me we can get this done but i want my master bedroom to be like grown and sexy like i feel like right now you walk in and there's no type of decor no type of you know it's just like i want to walk into not only my home but also my room and just feel like it's just a place of serenity so that is my goal for this upcoming year now this one has two pictures as y'all know my car my car my car my dream car now i have talked about me needing a new car so many times you guys i feel like that it has definitely transitioned from a want to a need now do i need this car that's not a need that's a want but the the i need a new car for various reasons i'm very grateful for the car that i have it has done its job it is still doing its job but i feel like that i have definitely outgrown that car um my kids don't have enough room in my car like my car is considered a compact car and it's like my um nine-year-old when he's in the middle of the twins car seats he just be squished so for one i do need to invest in different car seats because the car seats they have they're kind of wide so i did see that um i forgot the name of the brand but it's these brand car seats that's like slim and they can sit like side by side because the problem now is my car is so compact that i can't put the car seat side by side because they're so bulky so if I could just put them side by side and then have my son on the outer side, that would be give him so much more room and just it'll just make sense. But it's other things that's going on with my car as far as like the radio not working. My tail light keep going out and it's not just the light being blown. It's like the wires inside of it. My air only working on number two. Like it's just different things that's going on with my car and it's just time. I'm outgrowing it, you guys. Like it's just time. So I've told y'all before that this is my dream car, a BMW X6, and I specifically chose this picture because I saw that the license plate had the numbers, can y'all see it? 777 on it, and I've been seeing that number a lot. So when I saw that on Pinterest, I was like, perfect. At first I did want a white one, but I actually like this color. And then when it comes down to the inside, the inside of the car, not only is that how I want it to be, but I also, want my car to remain clean like that even with me transitioning from this car that i have now to my next car i want one of my goals to be to keep my car clean which is why y'all saw me going to get my car washed and vacuum it out and i bought the car fragrance refills because i just want to take pride in my car that i have now so that when i get a new car it's just gonna happen so naturally that this is something like i'm preparing for new you know what i'm saying like you know how i'm saying that 
even if you're not where you're at, where you want to be at right now, prepare for it so that when you get it, it's, it's, it's going to be easy. It ain't nothing that you got to do, change up, yada, yada, yada. The inside of this car, it does say X5 on a thing of it. So this is not even an X6 interior. I don't know. Y'all can't see it. But either way, in the inside, it'd be looking similar. So, yep, yeah, this is my dream car, you guys. And the thing is, if, if I... For whatever reason, by the time when it come down to buying a car this year, you know, if I financially cannot get this car, then I'm just gonna get an, another one. But I didn't want to just put any car on my vision board. I wanted to put this car because this is the car I really, 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 really want. <laughs> so yeah. And then this picture represents like just me meditating and having peace and spending time with nature because y'all know I went and watched the sunrise that one day and it just felt so good y'all like being out in nature it just feels so good but I don't like bugs I don't like all that other stuff Ugh, I just can't so it's like I gotta do stuff that I like to do honey but this picture just represented it you know the best to me and i do want to start creating a routine of where i meditate every day whether it's for five ten minutes just spending time with self spending time with god just spending time with getting my mind right especially before all of the chaos of the day comes in so yeah and then this picture one of the goals for 2024 is for me to definitely elevate my style um i feel like right now my wardrobe is very childish um and at first, you know, like I told y'all, I didn't feel like that because you're a certain age, you had to dress a certain type of way. I just wanted it to naturally happen for me to want to change up my style. And I feel like I'm finally there. So this represents so much of how I would love to dress like when going into office, not just on a regular smegular day, but like she looked fly going into office cute, you know what I'm saying? Clean, fresh, simple, but it just looked cute. It looked well, not cute. I don't want to use that word because that sounds childish. It just looked like grown woman. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point of this picture. Now, this one right here, as you can see, this girl bat looks sexy. Now, this picture represents a lot of things that I want to have going into the new year. You see her skin is so moisturized, you guys. That is something that I talk about. And y'all might think I just be trying to be funny when I be saying my hands ashy. Blah, blah, blah. But it's really something that I want to work on. Just keeping my skin moisturized and looking shiny and looking youthful. And just looking fresh and clean and healthy. Like, that's what I want. Because it's like, I noticed that it be the simple things that I have a hard time doing. And that could be like getting out the shower and making sure that my body is lotion like even down to when it come down to me lotion and um like i'll lotion my whole body but don't want to lotion my feet because it's just too much to get down there and, and but i've noticed that it's a lot of things that you, you you think that that's just how you are but it has a deeper meaning behind it and i feel like that i don't spend enough time with my own body and loving on my own body and that goes for me just sitting down and getting out of the shower and taking my time lotioning my body feeling on my arms my stomach my legs you know just loving myself so that's what i really want to work on and just taking pride and care in my body but i feel like her back also looks toned and y'all that's the type of back that i want honey okay Ah, when it comes down to my content, YouTube, as you can see, y'all, y'all, I'm gonna make sure you guys focus for this time. And say, okay, I scratched it out and put unapologetically event. Y'all can't see it because it's too light, but it said 100,000 subscribers. And I just, this is the plaque that I found online, but I wish that I would have printed out this picture that I saw um, years ago. And this is when I was around the time when I first started my YouTube, you guys. I think I mentioned it before, but I'll insert it on the screen. It was actually a glitch in YouTube system to where I saw this. I don't know how this happened. I've never heard somebody else say this or talk about this, but I actually seen, like, I went into my YouTube and it was my name, my YouTube and everything like that. And it said 5.99 million subscribers. And at that time, I think I only had like 300 subscribers. But for me to see that, oh my goodness, I just feel like that God was telling me something and nobody can tell me otherwise. So I'm going to insert it on the screen right here so y'all can see. Yeah. So that is the reason for my plaque. One day I'm going to get a YouTube plaque one day soon and I'm going to put it on my wall. This hairstyle right here is actually two pictures in here. <sighs> I'm cutting my hair in 2024. I'm cutting my hair. 
I want a low cut and I love these two looks. The only thing that I'm really trying to figure out is I want a colored cut, but the thing is my hair is so thick that I need a relaxer. So when I was talking to the lady, she was saying that you either have to get a relaxer and just your natural hair color or get it colored and natural. And I'm like, if it's color and natural, I'm not gonna be able to even enjoy my style, you guys, because that's the main thing of why I keep protective styles in my hair now. My hair is so thick. So I love these two colors right here. I feel like this is more like a wintry type thing and this is like summer, but I just love this. But somebody else was telling me that even when I get the color, it's gonna naturally like loosen up my hair anyway um, because of the chemicals. So we gonna see, but 2024, I'm cutting my hair off. <laughs> This just says, I will create the life I want because that's the whole theme. I definitely want to travel more in 2024. This year was the first year that I feel like that I really did not do a lot of traveling like I usually do. It's not like I be all over the place, but usually I do go somewhere, like for my birthday, for his birthday, just taking the kids somewhere. Like I did not do a lot of traveling, so. I definitely want to travel more, whether it's just a quick little trip or what. Travel more. This picture also represents the style that I want. Um, the other girl that I showed y'all, it was more like corporate going into the office. This is like how I would want to dress going out, running errands. Not just to run like to Target or something, but like say for instance, I'm just, it's a day where I'm just going to different stores, maybe have some lunch. I just felt like this was so cute and so sexy and just so grown woman, you know? Gem, self-explanatory, gem with a heart. At first, when I even saw this picture, I didn't even realize that that was a heart. I didn't pay no mind, but I feel like it just was so perfect that I picked this one because I want to fall in love with the gym. I go to the gym often now, but I want to fall in love with that. I want to be a gym baddie. I want to be a gym fanatic like i want to love going to the gym and actually working out this also represents organization of my drawers when it come down to this is in a bathroom drawer though but just this was just representing organization period balance that goes back to the, what i was talking about earlier with the balance Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want most because I lack discipline a lot. <laughs> and that's why a lot of the things, like, do y'all ever think about the fact, like, say for instance, you had to really sit and think about what you want out of life. Like, seriously thinking about what you want out of life. I feel like a lot of the times we don't get what we want out of life because we are in our own way and we lack discipline and we lack consistency. So I feel like that's a lot of the times why, especially me, I beat myself up because I'd be like, everything that I want out of life, I can get it if I could just be consistent, be disciplined. So it's like, yeah, when it come down to eating right and losing weight, yeah, you might want that burger now because that's what you want. But do you really want the body more? So which one do you want more? The fit body or the burger? And not just because of what you want right now, but overall, you know? And I will always communicate honestly. My partner and I are falling in love each day. I put this one, I chose this one because I feel like that <sighs> I'm in a space right now, relationship-wise, where we're just trying to figure it out. And um, I just really want things to get better and for us to get better. And I'm just going to leave it as that. And this just represents a sunset because I love sunsets. This represents an excellent credit score. I wanted to put 800, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just put as close to 800 as possible. My goal for 2024 is to get my credit score as high as possible, as close to 800 that I can get it. Because I have some things that I want to do. And even that will play into me. Um helping you know getting a low interest rate when i come and get my car you know what i'm saying like credit is very important you guys and that's something that i never when i turned 18 my parents they told me don't get no credit card don't get no credit card credit cards are bad yada 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 and i love my parents enough but i wish they would have like 
kind of like sat down and taught me about credit instead of just because I got a credit card and I maxed that jank out. And it's like ever since then, it's just like I just been trying to figure it out. So I just really want to go ahead and pay off my debt and get everything right and make my payments on time. And you know what I'm saying? Like I just this this is the goal this year. This is the goal. Okay. This picture um, is a representation of like wearing heels more because y'all know I cannot walk in heels, y'all. But I love heels. I feel like that they're just so sexy and I love anklets. So that's why I chose this picture. She's dark skin. She's moisturized. She has accessories on. Her toes are cute. So that's why it's like it represents everything that I'm trying. I'm getting my feet right, y'all, because y'all know I already told y'all what's going on with my toe. The heels, they are cute. You know what I'm saying? They're different. They're funky and fresh. And, you know, the ankle, it's just, yeah. So I need to practice walking in heels, whether that means I got to be walking around in this house with heels on or what. But I'm going to learn because I'm too old, okay? And then these two pictures right here, it goes into, like, my fitness um, goals. So her right here, she's hanging. This is Alyssa, Alyssa Ashley. But she's hanging down. And this is represents core strength, which is something that I have never had. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to say never because having to like take hold a baby and push it out and stuff like, yeah. But I remember when I was in elementary school, y'all know when they used to do, do those fitness tests where you had to do pull ups and stuff. I never could do a push up, pull up ever. So just to be able to have core strength, that's my goal. And I feel like with this picture, her legs and her body, it just represents how I want to look. And again, she's dark skin like. That is the thing because I'm dark skin, you know? So I love seeing dark skin women thriving. Yeah, like her body just looks good. I can't even see the full body, but her legs. Like my, and the thing is, my legs are naturally like toned, but right now they are just looking up a mess because I'm just gaining weight. So it's like, I just want to take advantage of this body that God gave me because so many times people be like, oh, Yvette, you look good and you don't look bad and you have four kids and yada, yada, yada. So it's like, yeah, but. Imagine how I could look if I just got into my fitness bag, like, for real, for real, you know? And then, dream and tell is your reality. I like this picture. I like the saying. I am rich in all areas of my life. Affirmation. This picture represents, like, um, jewelry and stuff like that. Because that is something that I really like, y'all. I really like necklaces and rings and earrings and stuff. But I feel like that... Because I feel like it just brings the outfit together. It shows um, character as far as like when you're making your outfit. People can wear the same outfit and dress it up different ways. And I feel like accessories matter. So I just feel like that this represents, I mean, not necessarily how she has it, but just the accessories. And I just want to get into that. And like when it comes down, I just have this whole look in my head of how I want to look. So yeah. And then this one says it's all about your daily routines imagine the woman you want to be think of what her daily life her habits and routines would be start showing up to those habits and routines start building them step by step and day by day you don't become her like magic you build her start you build her start building period and then these are some brands that i would love to work with in 2024 and trust and believe this is it's including but not limited to <laughs> okay Target because Target is so inclusive, y'all. I went in Target the other day to get some twins some clothes. Y'all, like Target is just so like I have never seen in a store so many characters, black characters on kids' shirts. Like, yeah, I loved that. So Target, Tylenol, because I saw Raven the Least work with Tylenol, and I was like, yo. That is a dope sponsorship because that's not something that you see a lot of people doing and working with Tylenol. And I feel like I spend so much money with Tylenol, especially with me having kids. Like, yeah, Tylenol, hit me up. <laughs> Brooke Linen, because it's I've never purchased their item, but I do want to try their um, comforters and their um, towels and stuff like that. And they do sponsor a lot of influencers and their beds be looking so nice and neat and and then they were saying, like, the more you wash it, it be getting softer. So I just, you know, Brooklyn, and that's one that stu stu stood out to me. And Skims, because I know the Kardashians have a lot of just 
yeah like they just got a lot going on but them aside y'all skims skims is that girl oh, i'm sorry but skims is that girl and i like skims <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put all of these on this mirror and we gonna get it going one is just a tip today it's not like a quote or anything it says water okay so the water soluble is that how you pronounce it vitamins such as vitamin c and b vitamins can be taken on an empty stomach fat soluble vitamins like vitamins a d e k are best taken with meals that's good to know so let me get my vitamin d I did take my vitamin D yesterday. I did not take the vitamin pack because I really didn't, um, I don't know. Yesterday was like, I really didn't eat that much, which I don't know if it's because of the, probably because I took the apple cider vinegar shot because that's one of the things of it. It's supposed to like kind of help suppress your appetite. But anyway, here, oop. here are my, can y'all see it? There you go. <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to take two at a time, y'all, cause. Now, if you're somebody that do, do not like take, taking um, pills, I absolutely do not think that you should get um, a vitamin pack. But uh, if you don't care, like me, like taking pills don't bother me. It's just the consistency. So what I have in my vitamin pack, I did, I did show you guys before, but just to tell you again if you're new here i have rhodiola which is for stress and mood i have a uh i don't know vegan collagen for joint health astaxanthin for skin and eye health iron important for vegetarians which i'm not a vegetarian which honestly i might want to switch out the iron for vitamin d because you can change it I'm gonna see if I can change it because I really don't think that I need the iron one. Um, probiotic blend for gut and immune health and chromium plus apple extract made to support metabolic health. So I do wanna, I told y'all that I wanna change my plan for it. So if I change it out for anything, I think it might be the iron and maybe the astaxanthin, which is the one for skin and eye health because I feel like if I'm, I feel like for the most part, I don't have skin problems. Um, like this kind of been a problem area, it'll come and go, but for the most part, I don't. As long as I'm eating right and drinking water, my skin is fine. So I might switch those two out for vitamin D and for magnesium. But anywho, you guys, I'm about to make my coffee and sit down and the day has already started which that's one thing that i'm trying to really work on is starting my day earlier from when the twins wake up or the kids in general because once they wake up my day has started my shirt is filthy but um they already woke up so i do want to get my devotion in I'm gonna drink me some coffee. I know this video was kind of like, 
it wasn't as organized how I wanted it to be, but my life is not organized, so there's that. <laughs> oh. Well, let me not say my life is not organized because the goal is for it to be organized, but I feel like when you have kids, especially toddlers, and then I have twin toddlers, it's just expect the unexpected. So yeah, there's that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out right here, y'all. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.